Hey guys, welcome to another how-to video here on the YouTube. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to automatically clip with OBS Studio. It's pretty simple once you know how to do it, and as a content creator, you are going to be thanking me for saving your life. No more do you have to go, clip that! Hey, clip that! Oh my god, clip that! That was amazing! Or do you have to stop and, and do this and do that and hope that somebody's paying attention? No. Now, with the push of a finger you can make a clip. Let me show you how to do it. So the first thing you wanna do in your OBS studio is you wanna come up here to your file and go down to settings, okay? That's the very first thing. Wait till your settings pop open and then you're gonna to wanna to go down to output, okay? Now there's a couple of different areas here in your output. There's streaming, recording, and replay buffer. Replay buffer is the important thing. You wanna make sure that your replay buffer is enabled. I believe there is a button here perhaps to enable it but if there is enable it right and then what you want to do is you want to create how long you want your clips to be which is for me it is 45 seconds okay then come up here to your recording path and this will let you know this will help you um th this will make it so you can choose where to put your your clips when when you make them okay right there that's where you do it. Um, I made the recording quality the same as the stream. Uh, if you do it more than the quality of the stream, then you could end up with some frame rate issues. I don't, um, I don't recommend that. And here, I see it now. There's where you enable the replay buffer right there. So make sure that's clicked. Okay. And then you want to click apply. Hold on. It's too big for the window. So let me make it smaller for y'all. And you want to click apply right here, okay? Once you have enabled the replay buffer and you have your recording path and your maximum replay time set, click apply. Very important. Then you want to go down to, or you want to go up to general and come down here and click automatically start replay buffer when streaming. So what that's going to do is it's going to make it so that this right here, the start replay buffer right here, is going to automatically start running once you click the live button. So when you click start streaming, the start replay buffer will also go. And you'll see a little arrow right here next to that as well. So if you don't want to use your hotkey, which I'm going to show you how to do in a minute, you can just click right there as well. And that will also give you a clip. In my case, it would be 45 seconds. Again, after you click this, make sure you click apply. And then you want to go down to hotkeys. And just scroll down until you see your replay buffer, which is right here. And I have like the little squiggly line under the escape key. That's what I have um, for my clip. Um, but you can use shift. You can use whatever. You can use Q. Whatever you want to use, just put it in that box. Then click apply. Click OK. And that is how you do it. It's that simple. And then when you're streaming, just click that button whenever you want to clip the last 45 seconds or however long you want to make your clip. Remember, the longer you make the clip, the more uh, memory is it's going to use on your PC to make the clip. Just keep that in mind. And yeah, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching, guys.